Enter Tentaphon, I will look after my sheep, says the Lord, and I will appoint a shepherd to pasture them, and I, the Lord, will be their God. Good morning. All very welcome to Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Just pause for a moment now, asking the Lord to remove all the fears and worries from our minds. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who constantly raise up in your church new examples of virtue, grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of Bishop St. Aliphansus in his zeal for souls as to attain the same rewards that are his in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azar from Gibeon, said to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years I will restore to this place all the vessels of the temple of the Lord which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place to Babylon. And I will bring back to this place Jeconia, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord. For I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah answered the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and all the people assembled in the house of the Lord and said, Amen, thus may the Lord do. May he, may he fulfill the things you have prophesied by bringing the vessels of the house of the Lord and all the exiles back from Babylon to this place. But now, listen to what I am about to state in your hearing and the hearing of all the people. From of old, the prophets who were before you and me prophesied war, woe, and pestilence against many lands and mighty kingdoms. But the prophet who prophesies this peace is recognized as truly sent by the Lord only when his prophetic prediction is fulfilled. Therefore, upon the prophet Hananiah took the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it and said in the presence of all the people, thus says the Lord, even so within two years, I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from off the neck of all the nations. At that, the prophet Jeremiah went away. Sometime after the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, go tell Hananiah this. Thus says the Lord, by breaking a wooden yoke, you forge an iron yoke. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, a yoke of iron I will place on the necks of all these nations serving Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, even the beast of the field I give him. To the prophet Hananiah, the prophet Jeremiah said, Hear this, Hananiah. The Lord has not sent you, and you have raised the false confidence of this people. 
For this, says the Lord, I will dispatch you from the face of the earth. This very year you shall die, because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. That same year, in the seventh month, Hananiah the prophet died. The word of the Lord. And God. The response are a psalm. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. Remove me from the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Lord, teach me your statutes. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let those who turn to me, who fear you and acknowledge your decrees, Lord, teach me your statutes. Let my heart be perfect in your statutes, that I may not be put to shame. Lord, teach me your statutes. Sinners, wait to destroy me, but I pay heed to your decrees. Lord, teach me your statutes. From your ordinances, I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Lord, teach me your statutes. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, 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 oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, this is a deserted place and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, there is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish. And looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the fragments left over, 12 wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about 5,000 men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. The purpose of this Gospel of Matthew is that to remind us that we're still being fed today by the Lord Jesus, but not perishable food, but food for the soul. He continuously feeds us when we come to church every day or on Sunday. And sometimes we might take that for granted. You've never been at a Mass and the priest said, go away now, no Eucharist today. He continually gives himself to us, but it is food for the soul. 
and we have to remind ourselves of that Jesus is still feeding us today even in a better way spiritual food because we all know where to get food for the body but when we come to church at the Holy Mass we are fed with the spiritual food of the Lord Jesus himself who was on earth Let us humbly now on this Monday morning raise our hearts, our minds to our Heavenly Father as we bring the needs before him. For those called to a religious vocation, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in courage and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For non-believers throughout the world, may God open their hearts to know him, love him, and serve him. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who hunger, may Christ, who offers us the true bread, satisfy their physical and spiritual needs. Let us pray to the Lord. For those gathered here, may the Lord strengthen and sustain our faith in all we do. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the faithful departed, especially those who have no one else to pray for them, may Christ welcome them into eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Morning's Mass intentions are offered up for Jose F., Jose M., Sousa, Jose Font, and family. Let us pray to the Lord. Just pause in the silence of your own hearts. Father, you know the needs in the hearts of each one present here, those who are listening and watching on the airwaves. We bring all our prayers before you through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, St. Joseph, St. Alphonsus, as we say the Hail Mary together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to kindle our hearts with the ecclesiastical fire of your spirit, just as you granted St. Alphonsus should celebrate these mysteries and by them offer himself to you as a holy sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord, 
For as on the feast of St. Alphonsus, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Edgar our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with it, him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, This is Jesus, the risen Lord, the healer. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Communion antiphon, it was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last.
Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, our mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer them. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave St. Alphonsus to be a faithful steward and preacher of the great mystery, grant that your faithful may receive it often and receiving it praise you without end through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended now. Go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Amen. Thank you for your presence. May the day be one of peace and especially health. God bless you. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he arose again and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We offer three Hail Marys for an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, The five joyful mysteries. The first mystery is the Annunciation. The fruit of the mystery is humility. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, the second joyful mystery is the visitation. The fruit of the mystery is love of neighbor. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, the third joyful mystery is the birth of Jesus. The fruit of the mystery is poverty in spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation. The fruit of the mystery is obedience. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. The fruit of the mystery is joy at finding Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, shown to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. For the Pope's intentions and for the indulgence this day, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Most sacred heart of Jesus, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A blessed day to all of you again. God bless.